we're going to do is we're going to click on the Windows Start button on the bottom left, and we're going to click on the Internet Explorer icon. If you can't find it there, then you go to the bottom where it says All Programs, and you look for it in those windows that pop up. Once you find it, you click on it, and the Explorer browser is going to open. You're going to go straight to the URL address bar, and you're going to type in www.moxilla.com. Once you do this, you could click on the Go or Search button or just tap on your Enter key on the keyboard. Once you, you're at the moxilla.com page, look for the green banner that says Download Moxilla or Download Firefox. The default language is English if you're living in the United States. Once you click on it, the download box is going to open. It will confirm that you want to run the file. You click on Save, and you're going to save it on the desktop. Now, it's very important that you remember the name of the file for security reasons and also so, you be, so you'll be sure to find it later on. Once you're ready, you click on Save, and the download begins. Now, it's important that you understand that the time that it will take for the download to complete will depend on your Internet connection speed. If you have dial-up, it's going to take longer. If you have DSL or a cable connection, then it's going to be much faster. In this case, I said I have about a minute, so let's skip that part. Once you're ready, it's going to ask you if you want to run the file. You click on the Run button, and the security warning is going to pop up. You want to make sure that the file that you're going to run is from the publisher, Moxilla Corporation, and also verify the file name, which should be Firefox Setup. You're going to click on the Run button, and all the files will start extracting. The Install Wizard will pop up. You click on the Next button. You want, I highly recommend that you choose the standard installation. If you want to use Firefox at, as the default web browser, you want to leave that checked there. If not, then uncheck it. In this case, I like Firefox, so I want to leave it checked. Click on the Next button, Install. And when it's finished, then you click on the Finish button. Now, it's going to ask if you want to import your favorite web pages from Internet Explorer. If you do, you want to leave that option checked. If not, then just check Don't Import Anything option. Once you have done that, then click on the Next button afterwards. And the new Firefox browser window will open. So as you can see, it's really simple. Um, in some cases, if you have a strong firewall, you might have a little bit of a pr trouble with your firewall. But in most cases, it's really simple. So thank you very much, and have a good day. Gracias. It's hard for me to find enough strength to